Hey trappers, Jason Vance here from Advanced Predator Management. I'm out here on Jeannie Cody's uh, line here in Maine and she's pulling out a, a beaver on this uh, dam crossing. It's a nice beaver. We, she said it yesterday and uh, picked up a nice beaver today. Water's risen here a little bit so we really can't get the trap back in place, but this makes I'm, three I'm beavers. I'm walking out in some pretty deep deep monkey stuff so oh good I got myself a nice little walking stick <gasps> it's eating me <laughs> beaver number three for the morning Small guy though. Just spread those springs out a little bit. Well, I'm just messing with it. Oh, pushing it in it, yeah. Well, that's one of the safety things that you got to watch for. Because if you step in there and you go out of sight, then it's... I just double stick through that spring. Yep.
I need one more. Thing. One more? Should do it. Is it tilting? No, nope, that's that's perfect. Mm -hmm. Beaver come down like through the there, blue. dive his head right on. So I'm out here on the trap line today, and. Uh, Yesterday I got an otter in this spot, did a reset, and finally got the beaver I was targeting. Over the last couple weeks I've had some conversations with some people about the snow we got, the colder weather, the rain, and I told them that when things got nice again, they needed to be ready. And it definitely has changed. <laughs> How many, this makes number seven in two days seven in two days seven in two days so i think i'm up to this one here makes 12 you no, have a 13 or 14 okay i think i don't know now now i'm confused and then you still have another one up this above here six in two days yep six in two days that's why this is number 12 in two otters and so why did you why did you choose this spot? I chose this spot because the beavers are going to swim from that large pond down back and forth to the other. That's a big beaver. Here it is. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I like my backpack. I can take things on and off. Yeah, those are pretty convenient to have on your back and you can just switch them around like that. Hands free. Dogs in place, safeties are snug, I can let go. This one, I've been running. You run the six through the jaws? Yeah. I mean the spring holes? Yep. I'm gonna run the springs. Just had a you just gotta watch. Oh, I went backwards. There we go. Flipper. And rest that. Get myself set up. I like to keep my chain on the side. Then I'm going out. So I've got that safety undone. That one I need to push a little bit more. It's wedged in there. Let me see how you can get it. Can you grab it? Yep. Nestle that in there. Go a little more. There. 
then I've got that larger stick kind of on top. To force them to dive. As a dive stick. And you put a double dive stick on yours? I do, just to cover enough of that water. Yep. Um, and then, yeah, that's, that's the deepest part of the channel and there's really no other way. There's a log right here that goes at a diagonal. So they have to swim like this and go right through. Yep. That's all cabled off, ready to go. Nice. It's a nice big beaver. Come on. So here we are at another one of Jeannie's locations. This is the second beaver she's taken out of this location. As you can see this one here that we just took out. Um, and she's about to put this 330 back in position to catch another one, hopefully. That one's rogue. You know this is our difficult spot. This is. <laughs> but a pr productive one. Here you go. There's nothing to get into here. This one might be another really... log. Pretty hard bottom, huh? There's literally just nothing. Because I'm going into stumps and roots. Okay. Better. There you go. Getting better. And this location here was a caster mound that you had found? Found a caster mound. Now there's fresh poop. The problem is, is that it's extremely hard to get this one secured. So I've actually had my trap knocked over several times. Like, I really think I need to stake it. Maybe. You want me to go get those plastic things? No. Okay. That's it. Yep. I'm not sure if this will... You can use it or need it or... I'm going to need a couple of those... That small broken one too. This one here? Yep. Oh, 
Here's a bigger one this year. There, another set in. A bait stick. And you put a bait stick at most places? I do. And you scrape it up so that it looks like it's been peeled and chewed, so they get that eye appeal. <clears throat> and there's all kinds of fresh, natural chews there. All right. I'm going to say a little guy, but he's pretty decent size. Yeah, well, yeah it's kind of small, but I'm also used to think about it. Right. So this location here is just a point on a river. Um, how, many, how many beaver have you taken here? This is seven, Seven. I My hands are too weak. There you go. Your feet. So I'm out here uh, on the trap line this morning and I'm pulling a good amount. I've been choosy on which ones I'm leaving and I'm leaving the hot catch spots number one. I'm also leaving the ones that are gonna be easy for me to get to the next couple days, especially with the Chorus Horseman Show coming. Um, I have Kate Wentworth coming to the house. She's gonna have an awesome booth at the show. She's gonna stay with me. And I'm hoping that we can get Kate a beaver on part of this line over the weekend. So, here I go. Get that dog. My glasses are gonna fall off. One thing I didn't do was secure my catch pole, which I really should have done. Got everything situated, take the pressure off of that front. Get down to my night latch, jaw back up, grab it from the center. So I know this hole right here is pretty deep and it's got a pretty good bottom. I can run my trap up. Get that shoved in there. Just gonna go down there. Get this secure, nice and secure, as far down to the base of um, your stake. Go around it, go around your line a couple times, back around. So that is all. When I when I tug on this, I cannot get that to move. Um, tug this way, just gets tighter. That's all nice and secure. Come back down here. The water level's dropping. So I'm gonna get myself a nice little trap bed going. There it is. Slide the L hook down. Move that out of my way. Now I lost. slide that down. Then if I was standing on the bank like this and my dog is 12 o'clock, I'm going to turn it a little bit to be more like a, I don't know, somewhere in between that one to three. Kick my jaw back down. I don't have a bait stick down here because he stole it. Um, I've got some lure. Thank you. Oh, 
out right here. He's gonna come up and sniff. And I'm gonna grab another bait stick too. This one looks pretty good. You can see where my dog's at three o'clock on this one. Ow. <laughs> Ouch. Ow. Poke um, a hole in them. Considering the water level's dropping, I'm not really liking uh, the way that trap is. <laughs> Catch your glasses. glasses. <laughs> <laughs> Like the way the trap is sitting so i'm gonna pick that up with a stick because i like to get the pine cone out oh we're losing our little shelf it's in there i personally like to do it this way i know some people flick your jaw before you even set your trap down in. I just choose not to. Then I do that. Again, it works for me. And that's what matters. There's so many different ways to do things. Throw a little bit of lure there. Got my bait stick. And I gotta get moving because I gotta work today. <laughs> hey there, so I'm out here on a little secret piece of land. <laughs> uh, anyway, here's another beaver for the day. I believe, I'd have to check my log, I've just lost track of stuff, but I um, believe this is number seven off my dad's land. So that's kind of fun to be trapping beavers on land that we've had since I was a kid. And my dad never let me come down here. So honestly, at 47 years old, this is like, the most time I've ever spent down here and um, it's kind of funny because being wise to the water now like yeah you have to be cautious because it's not nearly as scary as I was put in my head when I was a child so right here last beaver off the land pulling traps today I got a lot of things to get ready for for the weekend <laughs> just a little guy right here is a sandbag and um, this spring I decided to try the sandbag idea with a drowning cable and the 650 Duke. Um, they've been very successful in catching. They came with a few quirks um, that I'm really not excited about. So one thing I'll show you is how the bag can get really worn. So. First of all, this was the last day on this bag, obviously. I knew I was pulling it. It was a little worn the last time with the last beaver I pulled in. See what happens. Um, the beaver itself can shred the bag. The large beavers can pull the bags. Um, you can fill them, you fill the bags up quite high, but once they go in the water, obviously the water condenses um, the dirt. So you can see, we just fill them. Um, way more dirt in there you know until it had got wet the cables you can see how they're kind of like a one season use it's definitely getting um some wear on that so testing out drowning rod drowning bag versus the um the rebar i'm going back to the rebar and those are reasons reasons why on my test run of it <laughs> 